Hello everyone. Today marks the beginning of a eight exercise list that I want to make for fixing your right hip shift. If you haven't watched it already, I made a video about identifying one. Basically it looks like this, where your hip shift to the right, boom. There's a couple components to it, right? The, the hip bone comes up higher this way. The hips turn toward that hip that I'm shifting to. And uh, those, those movements themselves, even, even that hip bone, it'll rotate backward a little bit. Those movements themselves um, are, are different, even though they all come together in a term that we say hip shift, they can be addressed in different ways. So what I wanna do today is start by giving you exercise number one, the first thing that I would recommend if you're just like, you want this hand grenade approach, let's just do everything we can and try to address what's going on with this right hip shift. And, and generally you have to do everything you can because they're hard to address. So first one is the full rock back with a pad under your left knee. So these this video series is going to assume that you're like me and you're shifting toward your right hip. You're shifting into your right hip. You're shifting out of your left hip, okay? couple movements that come on there. So we're going to get a little pad for me. It's just this pillow and I'm going to try to be seen. Okay. I'll scoot back a little. So left pad or pad under the left knee. That's what I meant to say. Glasses off because otherwise they're going to fall off and drive me crazy. Um, now we shift our hips to the right in this case. So for this exercise, I want to say let's shift to the left. Let's shift my butt weight over my left knee. And I feel like I got it there. Now, that's the first step. Second step, we're going to tuck your tailbone as hard as you can and exhale. <sighs> oh, yeah, there we go. Do you feel your abs come on? Yes or no? If you say no, breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> get a little bit more air out. Now I can really feel the abs. If you still don't, just humor me. We're going to go with it. So keep that tuck. You're going to let your hips shift back a little bit so your knee comes closer to your chest. My hands are reaching out like this. My hands are flat. Make sure your pointer finger, pointer finger bases are straight down like this. And you'll see I'm kind of like pushing myself up towards the ceiling there. And we're just going to hold this for breaths. And we're going to squeeze all the air out. Make sure you squeeze all the air out on every rep. And you're going to hold for at least five seconds before you breathe in. Now, as we're doing this, we keep reaching away. It should be difficult. I know it looks like there's not a lot going on, but if it feels like there's not a lot going on, then you're probably not doing it right. Basically, you need to force that air out so that you can make sure you're getting the hips rolling back, the ribs coming down, and these nice side ab muscles, these obliques, turning on. The pillow here, the pad, helps me shift away. Let's make sure we don't throw that pillow on the candle that's up <laughs> lit right here. And uh, this is step one in your eight exercise progression for fixing your right hip shift.